Hey everybody, Jay here from Modern Mississauga and today we're with the 2018 Dodge Challenger muscle car. Iconic design, I'm not gonna spend too much time going around it because well, everyone knows a Challenger when they see it. You got your uh, halo lights up front, your beautiful 19 inch wheels on the uh, each one of the corners of the car to keep you on the road. But this one has all wheel drive so it's a little more sure footed as far as driving in rain or snow or sleet or ice or whatever it is that you have. So I'm just gonna take a quick look under the hood. So what I can tell you so far, as I pre-pop the hood and, oh, oh, did I get it the first time? Yes, got it in the first time. So it's a V6 and it's 3.6 liter, 305 horse and 268 pound-feet of torque, all through an eight-speed automatic transmission. So it doesn't have the growl that uh, the V8s have, but you know, whatever, the gas prices are high. I still want my performance, but I don't wanna be spending a fortune at the pump. And I like the trim that they've done here with the all-wheel drive. Um, it's still lots of get up and go here. You know, don't be fooled by, you know, it's only a V6 as opposed to the V8. And yes, I know there's the Hellcat and yes, I know there's the Demon, but for practicality, you know, for a base price of about 40 grand to touch under, uh, there's a lot of car to have here. So again, just kind of quick running around the outside. There's your typical uh, and traditional and absolutely beautiful design. And around the rear, you got kind of, sorry, but then stumbling on my words. <laughs> You have that nice bar that matches the front end as well uh, as far as bookending your designs with consistency and there's your backup camera and the uh the very obvious fuel filler cap and the challenger badging as well which i believe costs a, t a little bit of money to get that uh the racing stripe thing on there anyways uh let's just back up a touch and show you what the car looks like with my Bit of a distance profile as we get into focus there we go so it, again it's your typical challenger design there's nothing new about it it's just what you can't see is what's new and that's again the all-wheel drive so let's take a look at the inside in our next segment and we're back with the inside look at the 2018 dodge challenger dodge says you can fit three people in the rear uh, you can if you're being quite literal about it if you're being practical about it i wouldn't put more than two uh just it, that middle person is gonna suffer a little bit but hey that's that's not a Dodge thing, that's just an everything with a three-seater uh, car in the rear. So I'm just going to close up the passenger side door and show you a quick look at the front before we jump in. So that's what your cockpit looks like, you know, minus the GoPro, it does not come with purchase, friends. Uh, so this only comes in automatic, uh, this specific uh, GT all-wheel drive trim. Uh, I know a bunch of other ones come with the option for manual, but this one is uh, automatic only. So let's just jump in. Um, everything's everything's nicely laid out and you know i can't really complain about much here the big dials um with the kind of old school kickback as far as what they look like in the small thin numbers um you can customize what information you want to pull uh from the dashboard it's pretty cool i'm not going to go into it now because it'll take too much time but uh, pretty cool design as far as dodge goes and i chose for my speedometer to be here just I like having that exact speed that i'm at uh, steering wheel functions, very, very typical Dodge. Uh, no volume controls or cha channel changing controls on the front. They're gonna be on the rear. Uh, so channel changing on your left, volume on your right. Um, as we take a look at the, uh, I believe it's an 8.4 inch and it's the Uconnect and your backup camera looks pretty sweet. So uh, yeah, there we go. And you have the directional lines as well uh, to let you know where you are and, and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, that's really, really cool. Uh, it's really hot outside. It's uh, 26, um, but it's like a non windy 26. So that's why I've got the air conditioning on, but, uh, if we just go to, that's my serious side and Oh, Will Smith. No, thank you. Oh, I'll take live. Anyway. So performance pages come with this specific model. Um, and that just gives you all sorts of information and customizability for, uh, what you want to do with the car and it's a really really cool feature as well so you get your power your torque your g-force uh and all that kind of cool stuff there so let's not bother with that because because well it's just again it'll take far too long to go through i uh, got your push button start and your hvac controls here uh, as well as your modes as well for driving um i really like the gear shift you know it's been driving so many different cars um, you know, I've seen it where you push forward for reverse and the Jaguar one where it's that, uh, the rotary dial that lifts up and lifts down. But I love that it's just a traditional old school, you push your button in reverse, neutral drive, off you go. Yes, you have your manual, you push it off to the left and you have paddle shifters that straighten the wheel. Uh, yeah, right there. So it's, you know, it's traditional and I like it. And you know, that's something again, I, 
I've always liked about a car. Just technology is good, but I'm more of a classic kind of guy like that. Cup holders are staggered. Um, they just didn't have enough room to put them side by side or up and down like that. You know, whatever, no big deal. Uh, no sunroof on this specific model, and that's okay. But you get a sunglasses holder, and you know that's that counts for something. Let's open it up and close it up. Uh, I love, love, love that the armrest opens outwards as opposed to uh, how do we do this? Upwards. Um, it's easier access for the driver since the driver is going to be the one with the most to put in there and as well get out of there. Um, it's a good design. The seats are beautiful and they're comfortable and there's the side. Can we show the side? There's, yeah, look at those things. It's just, it's massive. It's almost, it, almost the size of my full hand. Like that's pretty much incredible. So cooled seats come with the car. Heated seats come with the car. Heated wheel comes with the, uh, with the car as well. Um, definitely, definitely makes a huge impact on hot days and cold days. And I think we're uh, slowly getting to the point where it's going to be an entire um, offering uh, that comes standard now, kind of like backup cameras do. Um, yeah, overall, the cabin looks good. It feels good. It's great. Um, I don't really have many complaints uh, about it. Um, the one thing that's a little peculiar for me, I'm just going to get out of the car for a second and show you. So that's your forwards, that's your backwards, that's your lumbar support. So that moves this part. But this part, oh, there's a good look at the side vaults. These are massive. Anyway, so to get this part to go back and forth, you're playing around with this thing. And that's, I don't know, I wish they would have spent the extra few bucks putting a motor in there and making it a full power seat. But hey, you know what? That's just my two cents on that. Feel free to keep the change. Uh, there's a good, 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 good look at the um, uh, at the cockpit for the driver's side. Um, and that pretty much wraps up the uh, the inside portion. So we'll be uh, right back with the driving portion, the 2018 Dodge Challenger GT all-wheel drive. And we're back with the in-car portion of the 2018 Dodge Challenger. So we'll do a quick uh, spin on the road. So no sunroof, so the GoPro is mounted to the side window. And sorry if it's on a bit of an angle. Um, it's the best I could do. So steering wise, uh, steering's pretty responsive. Um, it handles fairly well. You know, all wheel drive gives you again that little more control um, than you'd have otherwise. Uh, what I've noticed as far as kind of pickup goes, because it's an eight speed transmission, it sometimes gets a little muddy in the lower gears. Um, not that the engine is struggling at all, but rather I think it's doing a little bit of searching for the right and appropriate gear for the speed that I'm going. Um, it hasn't happened very often, um, it just it's something that I have noticed from uh, my week in the car. Other than that, the leathering, leathering, <laughs> leather steering wheel uh, feels really, really comfortable. It's great, it's, it's thick, it's sturdy. Um, you know, it kind of goes with the car as far as, you know, being that muscle car and everything's just kind of amped up that much more. Um, acceleration, you know, two, uh, what is it, 269, two, sorry, 268 pound feet of torque, uh, 305 horse, and of course torque is what you get, gets you there, and the horsepower is what keeps you there. So, uh, no problems getting on highways, you know, of course not with uh, that much torque and that much horsepower. Um, you know, it's a, it's, it's a fun car to drive, uh, very simply put, and it kind of sucks that I'm stuck here at a red light. Um, but let's, uh, oh, so well, he has decided to go. Anyways, um, so the car drives, it drives well, it feels good. Uh, would I take it as a daily driver for my specific needs? Probably not. Just, you know, I like having four doors and a hatchback. That's specifically me. But if you are in the market for a two-door muscle car, um, kind of an oxymoron, but if you're in the market for a muscle car um, and it's primarily you or, you know, one or two buddies, you know, again, I know the... Uh, the Challenger does say it can seat five, um, and I feel kind of bad for that person in the middle seat, uh, like anybody would. But it's a great car. It's good to be a daily driver in. Um, again, mostly in part to having that all-wheel drive. And um, if I had this car, and you know, I'd, I'd baby it quite a bit, and I wouldn't necessarily have it out in the snow and the rain. But if I had the all-wheel drive version, that would definitely lead me closer towards taking it out more often because it's, it's and I said it before in the first part of the video, it's more sure-footed and it feels a little more comfortable. Now, it hasn't rained in the time that I've had the car, but, um, you know, again, all four wheels spinning, 
gives it a little more traction um, and it's, it's a little more steady and secure um, for good old Canadian weather. So uh, I think that will wrap up the driving portion uh, of the video. I know it really wasn't too much. Um, the car definitely, it, it's a great car. It feels great. I'm happy that Dodge put um, the all-wheel drive component into it. And uh, let's see how many of these we'll end up seeing on the road in the coming months and years. Uh, we'll just pull over and put an end to this video once the car will stop. Because, you know, hey, safety first, right? All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, anybody. Anybody, thank you for so much. Uh, wow, I butchered the ending and I'm gonna keep it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If anybody has any questions, uh, let me know in the comment section or j at modernmississauga.com. All right, we'll be back uh, next time with another uh, new car review.